And I thought if I stop and turn round, they'll say, oh my goodness, she's coming back. And then they would shoot me. <laughs> Afghanistan's Taliban regime says it will put the British journalist Yvonne Ridley on trial for entering the country illegally. Worryingly, the Taliban have hinted they might claim she was a spy for Western Special Forces. The moment I was arrested, I was terrified because I had fallen for all of the Western propaganda that uh, these were brutal, evil men who hated women. So I really didn't think that I was going to see the sunset that night. I just thought this is the end for me. Um, so I was quite frozen with, with fear. And I was taken to the intelligence headquarters in Jalalabad. Uh, they... Because of their limited knowledge, I mean, their knowledge of me was as limited as my knowledge of them in, in cultural terms. And they thought I was an American spy because they didn't recognize my accent. They thought it was, uh, that it's from the north of England um, on the, near the Scottish border. And, uh, and I try to tell them we don't all speak like the Queen. <laughs> they, when they were talking to me, they kept looking away. They looked at the ceiling, they looked at the floor, they looked out of the window, they looked anywhere but at me. And I just thought, they can't look me in the eye because they know that they're going to kill me and they're feeling too guilty. When, of course, I learned later that they were showing me respect by not staring at me. So it was, um, it was, it was a real clash of cultures. They didn't understand me. I didn't understand them. I was extremely fearful. And so once I became accustomed to the idea they're going to kill me, the biggest fear then was, uh, will they torture me? Will they rape me? Will they abuse me? And so that was my next biggest fear. So I just thought, if I'm the prisoner from hell, <laughs> um, they'll just take me outside and shoot me and then that'll be the finish. It, it, it'll be over. And I'll go from being prisoner to being dead and at least I'll miss out all the middle bits. <laughs> and so that was my strategy. They uh, kept responding to me when I was rude, aggressive. I threw things at them, I spat at them. They kept saying, why are you behaving like this? You were our guest, we want you to be happy. And I'm thinking, why are they acting like this? Uh, they're supposed to be evil and brutal. This is obviously a game that they're playing, you know, like a cat and a mouse. They're going to let me think that they're really nice. And then at the last minute, the claws will come out. So throughout the, the whole experience, um, I don't think we came to one understanding with each other and but in truth, they never laid a finger on me. They never touched me. They uh, didn't um, respond in an aggressive manner. Uh, if they were upset with me, they just got up and walked out. You know, we don't want to talk to you. And. Uh, <laughs> And uh, so it was um, not what I expected. I'm sure I wasn't what they expected. 
At the Sunday Express, her employers insist she's a bona fide journalist who only entered Afghanistan to report on the humanitarian situation. And after 11 days, I was released on humanitarian grounds, even after the war had started. And I don't know who was happier when I walked back into Pakistan, whether they were glad to see the back of me or I was happier just to get away from them. Um, but it was only on the point of my release as I was walking towards the Pakistan journalists that I started to think about my time in captivity and the journalists were shouting, how did the Taliban treat you? And I'm walking towards my colleagues um, from the Pakistan media. And I thought, you know, these guys treated me with courtesy and respect. And then I thought, gosh, how did I treat them? And I thought, I nearly stopped and I nearly turned around to go back to say, look, I'm really sorry I was so rude. But I thought if I stop and turn around, they'll say, oh my goodness, she's coming back. And then they would shoot me. <laughs> so I went and I told the Pakistan media I was treated with courtesy and respect, which was true.